everyone, DSP here, and welcome to the very first Loot Crate unboxing for the year of 2016. That's right, it is January 2016. And as usual, I've done everything I can to try to isolate myself and not know what the Loot Crate theme is this month. I'm going to tell you something, it's getting harder because Loot Crate has now, unfortunately, in the past year, decided to start like heavily advertising their crates on a monthly basis and they even started sending like press kits out to all of us early spoiling the contents of the loot crate which I don't understand why the hell they do that but I've been not paying attention and I really have no idea what this loot crate is so that's a good thing we'll be completely surprised when we open it if you're watching this video and you're like man this is cool I like that Phil does this every month and this is something that maybe I would like to get in on these loot crates are pretty neat uh, you can save yourself 10% on any loot crate subscription if you go to lootcrate.com forward slash darksidefill and you use the code saveme 10 dsp that's save me one zero dsp the number 10 not the word 10 okay uh, many people have done this and you know I don't really hear about it too much but every once in a while someone mentions it and then uh, you know thanks to those who've done it it definitely helps me a little bit you know every month and uh, I'm very happy that Loot Crate did partner me in that way so all right without further ado let us begin to unbox this month's Loot Crate, and as you can see, it's a narrow one this month. Don't think there'll be any Pop uh, Funko figures or whatever they're called in there this month, like we've had uh, previously in recent months. Whoa, well, first of all, I don't even think I need to go any further. I think this box is going to be about aliens or sci-fi. As you can see, we've got UFOs beaming down on the Earth here and a guy in a space suit. Oh, yeah. Look at that. So it's actually, look at wow, oh, I've got to get a little closer here, huh? It's actually, if you take a look here, it almost looks like a kind of a ripoff of Space Invaders, right? From the 1980s, the, the really pixelated video game. It's actually a fake arcade cabinet I guess you can build with your Loot Crate uh, this month, your Loot Crate box by turning it inside out. So let's take a look right on top here. Boom. What have we got here? X-Files. Wow. An X-Files t-shirt, and for those of you who don't know what the X-Files is, shame on you, actually not shame on you because it really hasn't been too prominent in the past decade or so. It was a very popular sci-fi slash thriller series uh, in the 1990s, and it was on Fox on television, very popular, starring um, David Duchovny, and uh, I can't remember the name of the woman the female actress, I know that her, her, her character's name is Mulder, but I cannot remember the name of the actress, and I apologize to her profusely for that because she is a good actress. My fault. But anyway, yeah, apparently it's coming back. There's a miniseries of the X-Files that either came back or is coming back soon. Um, and I think what they're doing is they're testing the waters to see if it gets popular again, and if it does, they might bring it back full time. I don't know. But yeah, I was always about... Uh, aliens and or the truth is out there and there were several different plot lines where they followed along trying to figure out if there's evidence of aliens and of course they never definitively find anything out just like they always happens on that show so there you go an x-files t-shirt that's pretty cool wow we got a bunch of interesting stuff it looks like here we've got space invaders a mini alien vinyl figure limited edition who made this uh official title licensed product Taito. Actually, Taito made it. Taito was the manufacturer and game designer of Space Invaders. Let's take a look at it. I think it's orange. We got an orange color. I wonder if there were multiple colors that were offered or not. I don't know. <laughs> it's orange and clear. Look at that. It's a cool collectible. Certainly nothing complicated, but oh, it's not focusing. Certainly nothing complicated, but it's a cool little thing, right? Okay, so that's one thing. Move that to the side. What else do we have? Oh, my goodness. <laughs> uh, it looks like a happy head crab to me, right? It is. So let me get it out of the the, uh, paper, the uh, plastic here. Excuse me, I said paper. It is a plush head crab from Alien slash Aliens, whichever movie you want to reference. There it is. 
uh, who made this? Funny, P-H-U-N-N-Y is the name of the company. Apparently they also make aliens, look at this. They make aliens, they make the, the baby alien. They make them all as cute little plushies because those movies are just so cutie and for the kids, of course. <laughs> so a head crab plushie, oh boy. Oh my goodness, look at this. Now, for fans of The Fifth Element, the movie The Fifth Element, you'll know what this is. This is the Lilu Dallas multi-pass, okay? What it was supposed to be in the movie was a pass card that in the future, it doubles up as absolutely everything. So it's your ID card, it's your driver's license, it's your passport, it's your credit card. Let's see here, it's Savvy. That's supposed to be Visa. This is supposed to be American Express. So it's supposed to be a combination in the future where all of your identity gets put onto one card. And this is supposed to be the main character, well, one of the main characters in the movie, Lilu. <laughs> So it's basically a replica prop from the movie The Fifth Element. Now, the movie's pretty old. So it's pretty funny to see a, a prop like this pop up literally out of nowhere. But uh, all right, there it is. Multi-pass from The Fifth Element. What in the holy hell is this? It's a rubber band. I don't know what that's in there for. Maybe we'll find out. We have an X-Files. Uh, LED flashlight. So all it is is a standard LED flashlight with an X-Files logo on it. That's kind of silly, but it is nice that it actually came with batteries. So you don't have to go buy batteries yourself. That was nice of them. I'm not going to open that right now. I think this is just a flashlight. It's pretty self-explanatory. Whoa. We've also got some prints here. Invasion of the mini prints. Okay, let's see what's inside. The War of the Worlds. How many people out there know what this is? Here's the funny story about the War of the Worlds, all right? When I was growing up as a kid in the 80s, uh, War of the Worlds was already a very popular movie franchise. Uh, twice. Yeah, that's right. There was an original War of the Worlds movie made way back when. Black and white movie. Uh, and uh, it was very popular, and I saw it as a kid. My mom said it was one of her favorite movies when she was a kid, and I really liked it. And then there was a newer version, an updated version of the War of the Worlds made later on. And that one had a colorized version. And I saw that one too. And I liked that one too. I thought both War of the Worlds movies were actually quite good. And then, by the way, they did it again with Tom Cruise. I think this was during the, was the late 90s or the 2000s. I don't remember exactly when they made it. But yeah, another War of the Worlds was made. Uh, so uh, there's three different versions of this movie floating out there if you ever want to see it. The funny part is, I believe it's based off of a radio program that they played on Halloween uh, a long time ago. And they didn't tell anyone that it was going to be a Halloween special. And so they were doing this radio program of the War of the Worlds out of nowhere on, a, on radio. And people thought it was fucking real. They were like, oh shit, this isn't, uh, you know, this isn't a sci-fi work of fiction, this is this is real. It's actually happening, it's a news story. And they went out and caused a mass hysteria which really didn't happen. <clears throat> it was just a few fools who thought that there was actually an alien invasion at the time. But it's cool to see a print of that. Um, ah, another very famous sci-fi movie, son of a bitch. And one that, yes, once again, this movie has been made multiple times. The Day the Earth Stood Still. I guess I'm going to have to hold this one up. It's not standing up by itself. Um, I only saw one version of this movie, and I haven't seen it in quite a long time, so I don't want to comment on it. But I do know that there's supposed to be you know, an alien that shows up on Earth, and I think that he's supposed to be like warning the Earthlings of something. I can't remember exactly what the, prop, the plot is. But maybe now I'm kind of inspired to maybe go back and watch a version of it. <laughs> I haven't seen it in so long. All right, so anyway, those are your two prints. You get two prints in this month's... Uh, loot crate. And then it looks to me like we're going to have one more pin, or one more pin. We're going to have a pin and then we're going to look at the magazine. Now this is new. You see what they've done? 
They've changed the way the pin is presented. Last year, okay, every year the pin was a generic kind of looking pin and it didn't have anything like this, it just came by itself. And on the pin itself would be printed the month and the theme. They're not doing that anymore. It's actually a pin here that shows look at an alien and almost like an alien mech walker with a loot crate in its hand. It says loot crate. And then the piece of paper it's attached to says, oh, January 2016 and the theme this month is invasion. Honestly, I like this better because this is a pin that you might actually wear somewhere versus the old loot crate pins. Who wants to wear a pin that says, oh, loot crate 2016? But I would maybe wear a pin that has a cool, you know, alien stuff on it and stylized like that. I think that's nice. I think they've improved the pins for the better this year. I still don't know what the hell this is. All right, maybe it was in there by accident. That'd be pretty funny. Let's see if it says in the in the Loot Crate magazine this month what the hell that rubber band is. Let's find out. Um, the loot is out there. Oh, here's some previous month's Loot Crate winner. Remember, I actually the, the thumbnail for my Loot Crate a couple months ago had that in it. <laughs> All right, surviving alien invasion. There's silly jokes and stuff. Oh, here we go. Catch up on the truth of the X-Files. It actually is going over all the different X-Files characters from the different years. That's interesting. Oh, the Mega Crate this month. Whoa, what did it have? A projector. It looks like it had uh, all kinds of surround sound entertainment system. A fucking egg from Aliens. A lot of shit. A lot of stuff this month. All right, let's go through here. A little puzzle or something. It looks like they tried to make their magazine a little better. They have, like, like crosswords and shit in it now. See that? <clears throat> All right, so the exclusive X Files The Day Has Come t shirt. We knew what that was. The exclusive Alien Face Hugger plush. Very nice. The exclusive Space Invaders vinyl figure. So there were actually three different ones. I got this one, but there was also a green and blue and a pink and blue version. I actually like this one. I like that color. Okay. Multi pass, replica pass from the fifth element. The exclusive Invasion Mini Art Prints. The exclusive X-Files LED Flashlight. And the brand new and exclusive January 2016 Loot Pin. Wait a minute. I didn't get... Wow. I got gypped. Look. Oh, wait a minute. Never mind. Beginning this month, you'll see a new and improved Cloison Style Col Cloison style collector pin. Each pin unlocks something epic, but you need to go to lootcrate.com pins to unlock it. This month, you get a comic book called Letter 44 at lootcrate.com forward slash pins. So there it is. They don't, it looks like they're not going to give you the physical comics anymore, but they'll give you a digital download to download a comic every month. So that's what that is. It wasn't actually in the box. It's a digital download. That's interesting. And that's it. So ladies and gentlemen, I was graced by Loot Crate, the best part of my Loot Crate box this month, a giant yellow rubber band. I don't know where this came from. <laughs> I don't know if I was supposed to get this or not. This is pretty silly. I'm wondering, does it have anything to do with the box? No, right? It just says flip me inside out. And you flip it inside out and it becomes the fake arcade machine. This rubber band was not supposed to be included apparently, but I got a rubber band. So... You never know what you're going to get in your loot crate. All right, hold on. Let's get all this, the loot together here so at a glance you can see what you get in the January 2016 loot crate, right? The pin. Here, I'll put the t-shirt out front, right? Your multi-pass. Your little Space Invaders figurine. There goes the pin. All right, whatever. Space Invaders figurine. Your... Plushy and the X-Files flashlight with batteries. There. So that is everything that you get with the January 2016 Loot Crate. It's a good haul this month. It's a lot of collectibles and I'll be honest, uh, do any of them hold any real value? I mean, not really. Maybe the plushie, maybe worth a couple bucks and the t-shirt, you know, t-shirt always worth a couple bucks. So is anything, oh my God, super duper collector's value this month? Not really. Uh, and I'll be honest here, uh, the fifth element has absolutely nothing to do with an alien invasion. It has to do with science fiction and the origin of humans. And it does have aliens in it, but it's not supposed to be focused on that. Uh, so it's kind of weak in that regard when you're trying to adhere that to an invasion plot line. 
<clears throat> but everything else fits. And if you are into aliens and sci-fi and big yellow rubber bands, uh, you know, this is a good loot crate for this month. So, Invasion, January 2016. That is your unboxing, ladies and gentlemen. Here, you know what? I should make it official. There you go. Now it's official that the yellow rubber band is also included in this loot crate. Okay? Let me zoom out a little bit. There we go. <laughs> There's your complete loot crate picture right there. And the batteries right here. So you can see it came with batteries. Very nice. So... That is it for the January 2016 Loot Crate unboxing. If you enjoyed it, and like I said at the beginning of the video, uh, you're thinking maybe you would like to subscribe to Loot Crate yourself. Again, if you use the web address lootcrate.com forward slash darksidefill and you use the discount code SAVEME10DSP, that is SAVEME10DSP, you will save 10% on any subscription. Gratuitous plug. All right, that is it, everyone. Hope you enjoyed the unboxing. First of the year. Looking forward to what more Loot Crate has in store for us the rest of this year. Thank you, and see you next month.